Welcome back you guys, today we're going to go from 0 to 100k again, so if you are new around here and you have no coins, make sure to watch through, drop a like down below, subscribe, and if you do want coins in a quicker way, well... So if you guys are sick of losing at FIFA because your team isn't good enough, or you're not good enough at the game, then right now you need to head over to skycoach.gg. Not only can they coach you in your weekend league, or play your games for you, you can buy any amount of coins you want, and all of the services get 10% off right now with the code PRORECALL. Go check them out below, make sure to click the link in the description, and let's get into it. So first of all, we're going to start off with a filler that is good for sniping and bidding. Now, you've got two options with this. The cards will sell for 750 coins, which means if we snipe them, we can go at 600 coins there. That 550 and that 500 is both a very lovely snipe. So 750 for both of these, easy, easy profit off both of them. And there's actually not many cards even at 700. So if we want to sell them quicker, get the coins quicker, we can do 700. So that one there, you're still making about 150 coins. I think it's 165. This one here, you sell it for 700, you're making about 100 coins. So even at the 700 mark you're still making over 100 coins per card and we've got one there at 600 now obviously if you're picking it up at 600 you need to be selling it on for 750 to make your 100 coins so you can do that you can pick based on how much you pick it up for but we've also got the ability to go max price 550 coins or even 450 whatever suits yourself and then go along if you've got 20k you can bid on about 40 of these uh, and then you I mean 10k will get you 20 and um, so if you can bid on as many of these as possible you will win about five or six because they're so irrelevant in terms of what the cards are you'll easily be able to pick some of these up and make a decent bit off of everyone you do pick up and what i always say is i'm trying to get you guys to be able to make coins on your own and something that you need to do as part of that is be using sbcs now obviously there's so many sbcs right now where 84s 85s 86s are all rising but you forget obviously each week we've got marquee matchups now i believe i've actually already completed this one as you can see but each week there's going to be filters become coming from it so obviously you've got the four teams on the bottom two sections of marquee matchups is always going to get you a filter so this week you've got Real Madrid, Barca, Inter and Juve. So four filters, all for free, all low budget. And they're not even going to be included in the video. That's just an honourable mention. Now a very simple one that's been different this year. You used to be able to do Bundesliga, RB Leipzig or I think it might have just been straight Portugal with this one. Um, but with this now we've got Bundesliga, RB Leipzig and Striker. So you want to go gold rare and you've got Andre Silva and you've got Werner. So both 82s, both risen in price recently which means you've got a little bit of a better budget, a uh, better profit margin as well. So 1.8 looks like the point they're definitely going to sell at 1.9 you've got quite a few pages there from the looks of things so 1.9 is still going to be a bit of a struggle to sell if we go at 1.8 we've got nothing there so we could sell at 1.8 it's going to be easily sold there 1.9 it'll be a bit of a push now ea tax on either of these is 200 coins so 1.7 uh, is covering just the ea tax 1.6 and below you're making 100 coins per card so if you want to go to 1.5 and sell at 1.9 you can if you want to do 1.5 and sell at 1.8 you can whichever one you think you're preferring if you want quicker coins if you want more coins whatever you prefer i mean that 750 would have came up on either and we probably would have missed it on either as well but unfortunately we're not having some luck with this filter i mean we're having luck with what we're finding if all three of those were on a bot uh, like we had a look at yesterday we'd be absolutely laughing but unfortunately we've missed them and we've missed another one this feel I, I might have to pop this on a bot at some point because this is absolutely unreal how much like how many good snipes are just coming up uh, and somehow being kept away from me right that's it I'm, I'm moving on what is good is some players have actually risen quite a bit recently which is why center back premier league and gold rare uh, even with liverpool on there is going to be a little bit more expensive now so if we go up to i think from the looks of things uh, a ridiculous amount for Canate and Gomez. So what you want to do, obviously I think this is because of the objectives that we've got based on the Diaz card that's out at the minute. Um, but what you want to do is take your likes to 4.5k there. And um, you're looking at 4.6 probably for a sell-on. I mean, there's a few pages there, but still not many. So if we take off uh, EA tax there, it's going to be 230. So if we take off 230, there you go. You've got 70 coin profit. There is 170 coins. So I would say go down to here. It's 270 coins profit. Profit, but you can sell under and still make a bit there so oh that 950 would have been absolutely unreal so as i say if it wasn't me doing the sniping if we had a little bit of help there i, I might be getting a ton of profit but unfortunately my lack of ability definitely isn't helping me too much here but you see this filter it's a filter that really shouldn't be this value but right now because of objectives as sword so you can make a ton off of it you've got canate and gomez they kind of come up for minimum quite a lot and you're going to be able to make an absolute ton off them that'd be rude while we are looking at liverpool to not pop on the forward filter because you can pop a forward here 
Pop it to about, I think, 2 point. Oh, it looks like even. Okay, so this filter, any Liverpool filter apparently is sword now. Uh, you can look at forwards. You've got Firmino, you've got Nunes, and you've got Gakpo. Same situation. You're looking at a similar budget from the looks of things. 4.6K maybe for these guys. Just to, I mean, a few pages there. Maybe 4.5. Maybe a little lower then. Right, 4.5 for the sell-on. I would say if you go to 3.9, you're going to be making an absolute ton of these. Obviously, this is objective-based. I think it's only going to last for a week, but a lot of you will watch this video in the first week, so make sure to go smash it out. Now, another one, when you guys are on a lower coin amount, you've really got to pick up, obviously, rating filters. So good ones that I will run you through. So Syria, Inter Milan, centre-back. Now, this one here, you're pretty much left. Once you go gold rare, you've got Bastoni, you've got De Vries, and you've got Skriniar. Now, we're not going to spend too much time on this because I want to run you through a couple that are very similar. So we've got this one here in the Serie A. And over in the Bundesliga, a rating filter that you can do, if you go over to Cam and you go minimum of 10 to 50, I believe you are left with, uh, you've got Muller, you've got Nkunu, uh, you've got Royce. Um, who else have we got? I think there is one more in there. Let's have a look if we knock this to just Muller, Royce and Nkunu, I think there. Um, you've got Brandit if you take off the gold rare part of this. So if we take off gold rare, um, you've also got Brandit and Lee J. Sung. So if you want to do that, with some informs in there, you can. If you pop it to gold rare, you're just going to have the likes of an 85, an 86, and an 87. So a really good filter there where you can actually make a ton of coins off of any of the players that come up, but obviously, if you manage to get yourself a Muller, you're absolutely laughing. Similarly, in the Premier League, if you take the same concept over to Croatia, you've got the likes of, and I, keep, I always forget the name, I know Kovacic is one, and the other one is Paris. But don't worry, guys, I'm not just gonna be running you through filters and telling you about them. Of course, we are gonna do some sniping of our own, and one of the good filters we're gonna have to always go for is Foot Heroes. Now, you've got a couple options with this. League by league, you've got a ton of budgets and a ton of options. So, first of all, Premier League, if you just do Foot Heroes, I think at 20k, you'll be looking at the likes of Cahill, Scholzer, not many other players. Um, you've got Crouch in there as well, and also Lundberg. So you've got four cards, all very, very low. I would say this is the one you want to start with because you can get all of these for under 20k. So all you need really is 20k and you can start sniping. I mean, actually, you can probably start a little bit less than that. But at 18k, you're covering profit, not really enough. So 17.5, so 19k, the EA tax is about six or 700 coins. So anything you pick up is a very, very good profit here. And what's good, four cards are available. And all four of them are readily available. You know, you're not going to get prevented from getting these. There's a ton of these that are going to come up. And you're absolutely going to rail through them. Um, so it's one of them ones where as long as you just get a few of the cards popping up, you're absolutely good to go. They are obviously all still available in packs right now. You've got this 18500 you can even use to compare price. You know, if someone pops up, maybe a more expensive hero, 185 you do want to see it. So compare price is always a good way to go on this kind of sniping. Oh... Is it still on the market? It is still. So no one's picked this one up, which means we can still use it as a compare price. I would say Crouch is the worst one to be picking up because he's the least sellable. But they are all going to sell. No one's going to be listed for 17k and not be able to be purchased. Same similarly at 19k. They're that value for a reason. Now, we can't see any on this filter right now, but it's okay because what we'll do is we'll slide our way over to any of the other leagues. Now, of course, easiest one, I would say, is Liga Santander. They have the cheapest next hero, which is Mostovi. Now, of course, you've then got Forlan, you've got Mark. And you've got Mostovi here, who's the cheapest. You've got your likes of Fernando Morientes, and you've even got Cantabella, all of which are available on this because none of them are actually priced very highly. So we're going to go to, I think, well, I suppose it's probably like 18k for the looks of things for Mostovi. So 18k for Mostovi, one of the least sought after players. I mean, they have to put him in a promo at some point because they've got to give him some justification. Like right now, he's looking like a bum on the game, and he, he wasn't a bum in real life. They've, they've made him look like a bum. I think it might be something to do with the fact he is Russian because I remember last year they took him and Yashin out of the game, was it? When when the, the war initially kicked off, which is such a weird gesture because it's, it's, you know, those two football players had nothing to do with it. Um, but, you know, I understand it, but it was a bit random. Um, it, was a, it was an odd time in FIFA. Um, but I suppose it's better than them just you know, doing a Russian promotion. And then they also excluded Chelsea from promotions for ages, which was also a little bit weird. Now, if you find on this one that you're having trouble with Mostovi and he's not coming up, ch chuck it to Spain. You've then got Morientes and Capdevelia, both, once again, similar values. So what is good about these hero filters is that there's a ton of filters Ton of fills, ton of heroes available and very similar costs on every league. And if you want to do a budget of like 400k, 
cool. Take yourself over to Syria um, and go centre back. So now you've got Lucio and Cordoba, or do Italians, and now you've got then Di Natale and Marquisio. So you've literally got at every budget options on options. And obviously you're not going to be paying like three, four hundred k per card, but to get two of those cards, you're going to need to pay four hundred k. So you, you might as well do it as a filter when you've got four hundred k. There's no point spending your entire balance per snipe. Half your balance per snipe is a little bit more reasonable. So this one here, once again, you're at forty k. You probably want to get a captive earlier for about thirty seven, maybe thirty six if you're if you're pushing it a bit. This one. Easy as pie. Uh, we've missed, I wouldn't say we've missed there actually. Um, there was a fly in my room trying to get me. Uh, I would say we're probably going to want to go for 37, 36. Oh. I was going to, wow. Right. Well, that that's going to go up for what, 39? So we've just made like what, 4 or 5k off of what was one of the most accidental snipes ever i was literally just trying to change the value and test how much he might go for that is, i mean that that shows how much of a win these heroes are because these guys are the craziest easy wins now let me show you another crazy easy win that no one really takes notes of so first of all position modifiers absolutely no sense at all a load of you will have loads of these free in your club you literally can go and buy yourself position modifiers one on bid you've got the option to bid them which for some reason people don't just do uh, but position modifiers they literally have a value but bear in mind they are always in the, the store there for one bronze card or in the squad battles screen but they have a value so max price set it to about seven or eight hundred even eight fifty bid on every single one you can because you will win some i mean if we bid on this one here there's i mean look they've all got 40 seconds and no bids so i reckon we're actually going to win like five if we just do a page and that is ridiculous because they're straight selling if you put these up and list them for 900 coins they will straight sell now the other only other thing i've got to put you on before we do go is if you go over to staff and managers you've got the nations like brazil and netherlands and french all have crazy manager prices now if you're new around here and you enjoyed this video and you thought you know what i've even made 10 coins i hope you can appreciate that enough to subscribe and i hope you've enjoyed the content and i'll see you tomorrow